A new crime concern popping up in the South Bay. Delivery drivers say they're increasingly worried about becoming targets. It's happening often enough that at least one company is now hiring armed guards to escort their drivers. San Francisco delivery drivers are now getting armed guards. That's how bad it is. Welcome to another installment of the Connecticut Gun Bench. Today's video is brought to you by PAN Firearms, LLC. PAN Firearms, your NRA certification of multifaceted gun training. You can reach us at 203-300-6343 or use our website at www.panfirearmsllc.com. As always, there'll be a link in the description box below. Any like channel, like content, what I do here, you can support me. The link, everything is appreciated. Connecticut residents, the new training addendum is now in effect. Please make sure that your training is on par with the state's new requirements. If you have your permit, watch the expiration date. Don't let it expire. There's a link to the online renewal portal for the state of Connecticut for permits in the description box. Keep an eye on that. Let's talk about this. And this is a breaking story two days ago. And I want to give props to, as I always do, to Anthony Brian Logan, where I caught this story. And, of course, he does a phenomenal job talking about it. But I do have another angle I want to come in on. What is happening is an increase in delivery drivers being robbed and assaulted. And it does happen, and it happens a lot more than they report. But what is happening now, one company has hired security guards, armed, to follow them around to their stops. And it's a real shame when you get to the point where people who just deliver, we're not talking about an armored car here with millions of dollars in it, we're talking about the dude that delivers the Snapple to a 7-Eleven. But let me go ahead and give you some information on this. Let's go ahead and check this out. One of those escorted delivery drivers spent part of his day here at the 7-Eleven on 3rd and San Fernando. And at least one retired San Jose police officer says he's not surprised. Many call them the lifeline of the American economy. Truck drivers, including those who deliver merchandise to convenience stores, often early in the morning. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is what society has become now with armed guards uh, guarding uh, merchandise from the retailer because there seems to be a sense of lawlessness in our society. Daryl Cortez is a retired San Jose police officer who now works in corporate and retail security. It's very unfortunate. You and I pay for it. The consumer pays for it in the, in the, in the uh, back end because prices increase because the merchandise is going out the, uh, the door and no one is stopping the bad guys because of uh, the threat of violence. It's clear that not everyone is taking the extra precaution. We saw several delivery trucks today and none had a guard. But Cortez says if one company is doing it, others are likely considering it to keep their drivers and products from being targeted. We reached out to Cormart's parent company, but they declined to explain why they're now providing the guards. San Jose police say they saw a slight increase in the robbery of delivery trucks two years ago, but say they have not seen a spike lately. You heard that and you saw that. Now, it is a damn shame. It is nearly, I'm not going to say impossible, but damn hard to get a permit. Forget about San Francisco. Let's just talk about California in general to exercise your constitutional rights. It shouldn't even come down to having to hire a whole nother company of armed guards when the state makes it damn near impossible for you to do that for yourself. And that's not just delivery drivers, it's across the board. And it's really shocking. Now, one thing I'm gonna say is when I saw this initial video and what was going on, I said to myself, check this out. See this guy right here? This guy's on his phone. This is your armed security guard. He is not paying attention to what is going on around him. He's, it looks like, allegedly, I'm not saying he is, but it looks like he's looking at his phone. He could get bludgeoned from behind and never see it coming. If you're going to be an armed security guard, damn well be an armed security guard. If I was this guy's boss, I'd be, I literally would be on his ass the minute I saw this. You are supposed to be guarding the truck and what's on it. You can't do that with your head down looking at, and once again, it's alleged, looking at your phone. That's not cool. But what the bigger problem is, even with these armed security guards, the crime in San Francisco and crime in California in general, Oakland and other cities, 
is the punishment does not fit the crime. Uh, let me, I'm going to play this clip for you. This is one of the delivery drivers. He's going to discuss some a situation that he was in. Flavio Lopez works for another delivery company and says he wishes he had a guard as well, or at least a second person, to help him keep an eye on the merchandise. Lopez hasn't been robbed, but he has had his run-ins downtown. They has a pallet just like this, a little stack, and somebody just came over and went, knocked it all over Starbucks glass. I had to pick it all up, and he just ran, so... Stuff you gotta do with downtown. It's what it is, man. You heard that. Some guy just came out, pushed it all over, causing what, hundreds of dollars worth of damage, and just ran off. Even if he get caught, what are they gonna do? They're gonna get no bail. He'll be back out in the streets. He'll get nothing if he actually goes to any kind of trial. Yet the company's still out this money, and guess who's going to pick up the tab for that? The consumer because they have to raise prices for the losses. That's just economics 101. But what's even more interesting is listen to this store owner as he speaks about what's going on. But a clerk at the downtown San Jose 7-Eleven was surprised to see this recently. A delivery company called Cormart providing an armed guard with its truck and driver. Gurdev Singh says, unfortunately, he understands why facing so many problems just because of the crazy guys. Now they are good at all. Here in downtown San Jose, lot of crazy people hanging all the time. So better they, guard, they hire a guard. I give him props. He's actually telling the truth about what's happening. He gets it. He's like, yeah, I fully understand. It's not, well, I don't think guns are a good idea. No, he's like, yeah, I get it. I see what's going on out here. Now, it's a shame that it comes down to this because, once again, the general governance of California is not actually addressing the problem. Okay, you got crazy people running around the streets doing crazy things and they're not being punished for it. I applaud this. You know, this is just one company or one delivery truck company who's hired a, you know, an armed guard. I'm sure it's going to spread like wildfire because it's getting out of control on the streets period and like i said even if somebody one of these people steal something from the driver if it's like it's california if it's under a thousand dollars they're not gonna get prosecuted anyway so why not take the chance what can this armed guard really do the only time they can really use deadly force like that is if deadly force is being used against them or their protectee so they could be putting themselves in some liability because as we saw in the case of the L.A. man who defended himself, the state had no problem holding him to the higher standard than the criminals he was actually fighting. Just saying. But this is going to spread pretty much throughout California. You're going to find delivery drivers being protected because in the end, if you can't turn a profit, then it's not worth being in business. So you got to protect your assets. But let me know what you think. As always, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. And as always, any statements of violence or statements that lead to violence will be removed. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified the next time a video goes live. I'm going to see you on the next one. Peace.